Hi, this is Kylie Koo. Welcome to my studio. So today I'm continuing with the theme of creative envelopes, which is a prompt for March in the Mixed Media Emporium that I co-host with Nina Rybina. So I have six plain white envelopes here. These were gifted to me a long, long time ago. I was going to use some recycled envelopes, but you know, I thought I've had these a while, I'm going to have to get round to using them. So that's what I'm doing today. It's the same envelope as I used for my project last week, and I'll link that above, below, and at the end, if I remember. So, what I'm going to do today is to take these six envelopes and to make them into a journal. Now, I'm not going to sew anything into the journal. It's all going to be stuck together. And today is very much just about creating the journal and doing some backgrounds. And if you stick with me through this, I'm going to tell you about what I'm going to be doing over the next few days to actually complete this journal in full. So all I'm doing, because these envelopes have been sitting in a drawer open, I'm just putting the folds in, getting those creases in at this point. So just folding those over couple of places where it was going to buckle a little bit, but that doesn't matter. There's no stickiness left. You'll see the gums actually got that aged yellow look on it. So it's not actually sticky. But if you were doing this, just make sure you don't stick the envelopes shut. So all I'm going to do is to use some of this masking tape. And it's, it's sticky enough for me to use here. Uh, if it hadn't been too sticky, I might have used some glue as well, but this is sticky enough. You could use washi, but just make sure it's the type that is very sticky, otherwise add some glue to it. Now the idea is simply here that I'm going to stick these two envelopes together. So you can either stick it right down on it, or as I'm going to do, I'm going to stick the tape to my table, to my work table. I'm just folding that over and then I'm going to pull it down the length that I need for the envelope and I'm just showing you this in real speed here just so you can see exactly what I'm doing. I'm going to just judge the length of the envelope there, pull it down that little bit further and then it's slightly off camera just because these are quite long envelopes so I need a long bit of, of washi here and or not washi, uh, whatever I called it, masking tape just going to fold it under again just to hold it in place. It's moving a little. It doesn't matter that it goes entirely straight on the envelopes, but best to get it straight as I can. So I'm turning them over and all I'm going to do is I'm going to put the envelope around about halfway onto that piece. And perhaps trying to be a little bit too precise there because as I say it doesn't need to be totally straight. Getting that on, pushing it down and then I'm going to join the other envelope. And I'm getting them as close to each other as I can. If there's a little gap left again it doesn't matter. Now at this point you can either cut the tape off or just fold it over. We will be doing something that will secure all the envelopes on the other side anyway. Now you see that that tape is also quite yellow, not to worry about that because we will be disguising that later. So I am just going to fold those over. Now I'll do the same, the exact same with the other two sets of envelopes. So I've got six envelopes in total. So I now have my three sets of envelopes stuck together. So two, two and two. And what I'm now going to start to do is to join these together. So what I'm basically going to do is the same kind of principle. I'm going to close two sets just now and push these together and then I will use the washi tape to glue them. It doesn't really matter which side you do but this will join them together. And actually this washi tape was, I keep calling it washi tape, it wasn't washi tape of course, but this tape was so sticky that actually these started to stick together themselves. But it does need 
an extra bit of support. So just going to show you again, I'm just doing the same approach, just putting my masking tape down, turning it over just to hold it in place. Now those had stuck, they weren't intended to, but it's just a little bits of the sticky tape grabbing, so I just pull them apart so you can see. It really was quite sticky, I couldn't believe it. So now I'm just going to stick these down. And I don't know why it was taking so long there, I think I was just looking at, you know, you want your the flaps to be to the inside. You don't want them to be to the outside. I don't suppose it would have mattered too much, but this was the way I wanted to, to create this. So I'm then going to put them in place. And then you can either fold over. If you do, you just need to watch because you will need to snip the top as I do here. Or you can just cut along the bottom edge of the tape. So I've just folded it right over but I will need to now use my scissors just to release those envelopes because they are stuck at the top there, as you'll see. So I just snip that through and then I'll join the third set of envelopes. And then I'm going to use the exact same process to join the last set of two envelopes together. Now I have quite a number of videos on creating no-sew journals, so I'll try and link them all below and above, or if I can, I'll put them into a playlist in which, you know, they will all sit. So the other thing that could be done, and, and one of the things I had thought about doing, was to actually use some fabric to do the joining. But I decided in the end that I would use something that perhaps was a little bit more accessible for, for everyone. Not everyone uses fabric, which is why I decided just to use the tape. So there we go, getting the last two added to the four that are currently sitting on the left hand side. And this time I just trim the tape off. And then I will move to the next stage of securing the envelopes together. So I now have my envelopes and this will be the front and the back of my envelope. So I've got these facing up and what I'm going to do is to put three pieces of tape down here just to make sure that these are all attached. Now they're attached on the inside. I'll double check that I've got tape on each one in a moment, but I'm putting that right down the centre. What I'll then do is to make certain that I have that down each and every one. So just making sure that the tape is pushed well in place in each instance. Now you can flip these and decide which one you want as a front. There really isn't a front until you put the decoration on it. But I'm going to make this just this little bit thicker. So adding another piece of tape there. And then I'm going to add a piece of tape either side of that. So it will catch the tape and it will catch the envelope. And this just strengthens it as a spine. So I'm just taking this through very much at normal speed, just so you can see exactly what I'm doing. In this instance, I'm just snipping it. It doesn't need to be done terribly neatly because I'll show you a way to neaten it up. You could take your scissors and neaten it up, but I will show you that when I come to decorate, I'll show you the way I'm going to do it. So I now know that with those three bits, that's my external layer. So I'm just going to go through and make sure that everything is as it should be, just smoothing it out 
the flaps do get a little bit bent over but that's okay checking that I've got a layer of the tape on each of the inside pages and that is the basic journal so what I want to do now is to start to decorate it all I'm about just now is creating background pages background layers so I'm actually going to put this on a little bit faster for you so basically I am now taking scraps and old painted papers and I am going to just lay down some collage. I'm not bothered about the colours, I am just getting pieces of paper down on here. One of the things I really want to do is just to disguise some of the masking tape that I've used. Now I'm not looking to cover it entirely because it will take paint when I come to putting paint down. I'm really just looking to break up those hard lines that the tape left. So all I'm using is a glue stick and a plastic card just to get these pieces down. And basically I'll go right the way through my journal just laying these in place. Now you could, if you want, be very coordinated about the, the colours and the scraps you're using or you could just use book pages that don't have a lot of colour. I'm not concerned about that because I know that what I'm going to go on to do, a lot of the colour will get covered up uh, by paint and you know as always I, I quite like quite a grungy look so I'm quite happy if some of those colours show through. So here I am, I'm well through. I'm just going to show you now how to hide those little bits at the top. So I'm just taking a piece of the paper and covering up and over the piece of tape on the inside just about, I've gone through the journal doing that, then I'm doing it at the bottom, putting that over and just taking it over to the other side of the envelope and that just hides those little rough edges of tape and just for me adds interest. So you know, got the collage on the flaps, I've got it inside the flaps of the envelope, I'm just pushing them right down into the, the fold of the page now and I basically have all the collage on that that I intend to do at the moment. But my next step is I'm going to start painting. I'm sorry I knocked the table at that point and everything moved. So I'm just going to take a few colours and you know it doesn't really matter what colours I'm using but I just grabbed what I had to hand and I'm just using a dry brush technique as I used in my video last week. So no water, I'm not even cleaning the brush off, I am just adding different colours of paint. And what I'll do is to try and integrate the, f the main part of the envelope there with the flaps. Now there's two ways of doing it, you can either integrate the flaps into the open page on the other side or into the page on this side where they, they close. I'm doing it this particular way. Just using an old plastic lid there as a palette. Not mixing colours as such, just using them as they come up from there. And as I say, not cleaning my brush. If I wanted to use an entirely different uh, colour from a different family that was likely to cause mud, I will dry the pages off if needs be. And I do dry them at little points. But you can see even there that the collage is starting to blend in. Uh, some bits are more clear than others and I, I'm, I'm fine with that. I'm very happy with that. In fact, that's exactly the look I'm going for. If you want to tone it down, add some white, just as I did last week. But what I'm not doing this time is a wash of white. I'm just scrubbing it in as well. Because my colour is still wet, it's going to just blend in a bit with that. So I'm now looking at the top of the flap. I'm just going to give that a little bit of a dry simply because I'm going to fold the flaps over so that I can then get the paint onto them and I don't want them sticking shut with the paint. So folding them over and I'm going to use the exact same paints and paint them in a way that they will blend in with the rest of what you can see there. So you'll see I take it from the flap over and onto 
the main piece so that it looks as if it's one continuous piece. And I'll just work that back and forward. This is very much just background. I will be doing more on these. And then off camera, I'll do most of the other pages. I will come back and show you me doing the front page just to show you the technique once more. So some of those pieces of collage sticking out a bit more in terms of the colour than others. And that's fine because they are simply background. So here I am doing the other side. Now, Sorry, this is actually the front now, front and back, because I've done all the pages inside. Now, I have set myself a little challenge for this week, and I am going to try and record me doing one of the pages inside, and indeed the front and back cover, every day this week. That's what I'm hoping to do. I kind of lost my mojo there for a few days and I'm really needing to try and sit down and create every day. Just so many things going on just now. I, I don't need to say what, but, uh, you know, I think we're all in that position of feeling a little bit unnerved, unsettled. And for me, art helps relax me. It takes my mind off things. So that's what I'm going to be doing. So I hope to have a very short video uploaded every day of me doing this journal. So here's a very quick run through or flip through of where we're at just now. So don't hold me to doing this, but it's my hope to do it. And my intention would be that I upload a video every day. I'm not going to do a voiceover for it because I just want you to see how I'm going to decorate all the pages. Sometimes people say to me, we like seeing you making journals, but you never show us what you do with them. So this time I'm going to show you. Just showing you the sizes here, roughly nine and a half inches by just over four inches. My understanding is this is a US business size envelope. And that is just short of 24 centimetres by about ten and a half. You could use any size of envelope for this. It could be half the size of that. It could be bigger. Just whatever you want. So as I say, I hope that I, by next Sunday, I hope that this will be complete. I think I'm going to use it as a kind of a, an art journal, but we'll see. So I'm just showing you there how the colour moves across all the sides and onto the flap and how I've carried it in to the flaps because I will want to put some little things in there. Then I've got some nice double pages that I can perhaps do something different on. Again, there's the flaps, nice grungy page there. So I don't know what I'm going to put on these pages at all, but uh, I'm sure I'm going to have fun doing so. Not everybody will like this style, make it your style. You could even cover this with master boards. So just make it your style. But believe me, this is a fun journal. Already it feels nice and chunky. And while there's more to do, it feels good to have taken it to this point already. So I'm just counting out the number of pages here because I was saying, oh yeah, I'd have enough to do a video every day between now and Sunday. So that's what I'm going to try and do. As I say, don't hold me to it because things are happening just now that mean plans get changed, etc. But I hope you'll, you'll join me with this. And of course, I'll leave a link to Nina's video below and a link to the Mixed Media Emporium Facebook group. So thanks so much for watching. Stay safe. Thoughts and prayers are with you all. Bye for now. Take care.